awesome intro. Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, I am now going to be starting one of my first ever Nintendo 3DS walkthroughs and I figured why not none other than Kingdom Hearts. I'm also going to be doing one for Monster Hunter 4, but I wanted this to be the first one that, you know, the first video I get out as a walkthrough on my channel. So, like I said, we have Kingdom Hearts Dream. Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. This is the only one I have not gotten the chance to play. I played the other ones at my friend's place um, because I didn't have any of the 3DS systems before besides the original DS. And so uh, this is uh, pretty much the only one I still need to play. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I did play a couple hours into it. I don't mind starting over for you guys. Alright. So this game supports the Circle Pad Pro, which in this case I do have the new 3DS, which has the uh, C stick. All right, would you like to use it? Of course. All right, we're gonna go ahead and select Standard Mode, and our adventure is going to begin. Hey, is this how you wanted it? Xehanort, you want to fill me in? I am. Hey, do you remember now, or... Wait, did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? Dun dun dun. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. I do want to let you guys know that if you're noticing a slight lag on the video recording, I do apologize because there's something with the Logitech camera. Uh, I'm going to try to look into it after I'm done recording these parts. Um, so just bear in mind, it's, the lag is not from the game itself, it's coming from the webcam. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so it's the tutorial. Press button. I already know this part, so I'm just going to skip it. Yeah, yeah. 
So flashback, the Mark of Mastery exam, just in case you guys couldn't read that because it looks a little bit hard to read on the camera. So we're going to go ahead and... Oop, there we selected it, never mind. Hopefully it chose to view it. As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know. So he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions Forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Oh. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin.
Okay. Since I didn't view it, it actually skipped it. Even though I've crashed a few times, I still got an A. I need to see if it'll let me go back to view the uh, that cutscene that we missed. Huh? This is Traverse Town. Alright, looks too hey, dark on the what's camera. What's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. There we go, that should help out. So, tutorial, flow motion. Let's go ahead and view it now. I'm probably just going to edit the one scene that it skipped over. Alright, so I know it's going to be a bit hard for you guys to read. So this flow motion lets you use your environment to its fullest. Alright. Simple enough. Slide toward the lamppost to gain a burst of speed. You don't always have to slide into the flow motion. You can use 
uh, some objects like handrails and ropes just by landing on them. Jumping onto the handrail to kick into slow motion. Right. Actually, I do need to change a setting here. I can't go into the settings yet. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Make sure, um, let's see, not sure where to go, just go with the flow. Tutorial complete. Right, so now I can change settings. Alright, there we go. Much better. Or I can use the buttons up here. Alright, so this is a save point. I'm going to go ahead and part one here. If you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below and stay tuned for part two.